Trump asked about the assassination and he says he believes it was God. That's what saved him. Last question, uh, Mr. President. Uh, one month ago, an attempted assassin tried to take your life. How are you feeling right now so the voters know? How, what are your thoughts about that? Well, it was a terrible thing. It was amazing. Uh, God was watching over me because it was a miracle. If I didn't turn a certain way at a certain time, it was, you know, no chance. And uh, it's very much uh, a miracle. For those that don't believe in God, I think you'll start believing in God when you see that. A lot of people have actually felt that. Uh, it was a very terrible day. A lot was learned. We lost a great person in Corey. We have two other people that were very badly hurt, weren't really expected to live, and, and they are living, and they're going to be okay. Now, he does mention Corey did die. This is the guy who was standing behind Trump and was killed. Whenever they bring up this God was watching over me stuff, why was God not watching over Corey? I mean, seriously, and, and I know that you can very you can always say, we can never understand. We could just never understand why this was the way that God operated or this is the way that God decided to do this. But it doesn't really make any sense if God works in mysterious ways and we can't understand why God allowed the bullet to kill Corey, then we similarly can't really say that God acted in order to spare Trump. Why didn't God make the gun jam? Why didn't God prevent the shooter? from even being there or even being born. It's this stuff is obvious overt nonsense, but particularly when one person was killed and two were injured, there are such obvious questions about why did that happen? If all of this was God's doing, couldn't God have simply made the bullet miss you, but ricochet away without hurting anybody at all? Well, no, 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 that doesn't work. And we can't possibly understand it. I'm really sick of this whole thing. And I can only imagine that if you're a family member, a friend or loved one uh, of the guy that did die, that uh, at least on some level, you find it all pretty disgusting.